It's paid for in blood. Don't ever forget it. We won't. They have. I encourage all the vets who want the hell have. out of here. That was the atmosphere inside a town hall meeting at the Carl Vincent VA Medical Center in Dublin. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight for the News at 6. I'm Amanda Castro. And I'm Skylar Henry. Veterans were frustrated and with directors and staffers at the center for what they're calling mistreatment. Several vets shared stories of hardship and concerns. The center's interim director tells me he's looking for that type of feedback to better the veteran experience. Well, here you are, little buddy. We're going to help you a little bit. No, that's bull****. Tensions were flaring as veteran after veteran voiced their disapproval of their care at the VA center in Dublin. They just don't care. They stand around and we're all talking in the living room and they're all yakking, yakking about who did their weaving. Interim director Tom Grace, who stepped in to replace John Goldman, knew he'd get this type of emotion. He says it's necessary. Well, it's feedback that is very important for us to hear. We need to hear the voice of the veterans. Stories about lack of service, calls put on hold for extended periods, and requests for care seem to repeat themselves. I'm still fighting for our benefits. I'm still fighting for him. And what I really don't want to see is this to happen to anybody else. Jen Kilpatrick is an Air Force widow, originally from Dublin, who moved to Colorado to get what she calls a fresh start after watching her husband die. He was my one true love. It was like you see in the movies, that first kiss, we were in love, we knew we were going to spend the rest of our lives together. Jen says doctors put her husband on pain meds, but never saw him until it was too late. Specialists found stage four cancer around his abdomen. Because of all of that, the VA is saying that his death was not related to his disability, and they're trying to deny me benefits. And I've been fighting for two and a half years now. Grace says stories like Jen's will help when it comes to retraining and addressing certain policies moving forward. We are certainly going to be taking a lot of actions to improve uh, the perceptions of our veterans in terms of we want them to be able to come here. We want the, the VA to be the choice for veterans to come to. Grace says a new permanent director at the Carl Vincent VA Medical Center in Dublin should be named in February. He also tells me the Department of Veterans Affairs is looking into hiring more doctors and expanding its facilities in Bibb and Houston County due to the large amount of veterans in the area. The Department of Veterans Affairs asked for the removal of John Good Goldman, the former director, in September. After an investigation, the inspector general found manipulated hospital data. Again, according to interim director Tom Grace, a new permanent director should be named in February.